Good morning friends. Today we are going to understand how do you calculate interest on drawings which are made at the beginning of the every month, right? And the second thing is that the amount on which drawings are made are also fixed. So let us focus on this question. Ram made drawings of rupees 20,000 on first day of every month, right? So the amount of drawings which Ram made are equal to 20,000 rupees, right? And these drawings are made on the first day of every month. So let's say if we are taking a calendar year, then you've made a drawing on January 1, the second one was made on February 1, then March 1, and so on until you reach December 1 right so there were 12 drawings in all which were made right each drawing was 20,000 each so what do we get we get that the number or the amount of drawing which has been made are fixed right and they are made on the first day of every month right on which interest is to be calculated at the rate of 10% per annum. The rate of interest is 10% per annum, right? 10% per annum. Calculate the amount of interest due on drawings from Ram. Now, come to think of it, let's say for example, Ram withdrew 20,000 on January 1, right? Now, we all know that the interest has to be charged for the period for which the amount has been withdrawn by the person. So if I have withdrawn 20,000 on January 1 and the year ends on December 31, what is the period for which I am using this money? I am using it from January 1 until December 31, right? Or in other words, we can say we are using it for 12 months, right? Similarly, if you come to think of February 1, again, 20,000 is the amount of drawings which are done. You use it until December 31st, which means you are using it for 11 months. Similarly, for March 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. The last drawing is December, and that money will be used for one month. Right? So what is happening is, I can calculate interest in respect of each of these individual drawings for this period, right? But the easier method is that instead of, you know, calculating it 12 times, if I were in a position, maybe through the use of some formula or something, that I can kind of calculate it in one go, then that would have been much more easier for me, isn't it? Now there's a formula for calculating interest on drawings which says that you can calculate the interest on drawings by multiplying total drawings okay into rate of interest divided by 100 into six and a half months divided by 12 Right? Now you must be wondering how did I get this six and a half months? The six and a half months is nothing but an average of all these months taken together. Right? So when you add all these months, what do you get? When you add 12 plus 11, 23, plus 10, 33, plus 9, 42, plus 8, 50, 57, 63, 68, 72, 75, 77 and 1, 78. Right? So when you divide 78 by 12, why do you divide it by 12? Because there are 12 items in all. You will get six and a half. Right? So how much of the total drawings which Ram made? He drew, withdrew 20,000 per month. Okay, so he withdrew 20,000 into 12. Into, what is the rate of interest? 10%, right? Divided by 100 into six and a half can be written as 13 by two and then this 12 will come in the denominator, right? So this 12 will knock off this 12, 
one, two. So one you go kill here, one you. This will give you 1,000. 1,000 into 13 gives you 13,000. So the interest on drawings, the total amount of drawings that have been made is going to be equal to 13,000. Or in other words, simply what we conclude from this exercise is that let's say for example, if you make a fixed amount of drawing, fixed drawings, please note, we had 20,000 worth of drawing every month. If this number changes from month to month, then we cannot apply this formula, right? At the beginning of every month, then the interest on drawings is equal to total drawings into rate divided by 100 into six and a half months, right? I hope you would have understood this video. Look forward to seeing you in many more videos from my IID book on a going forward basis. Thank you.